Hi everybody. So we are back today with another unboxing video and this is one that I am really excited for and I've been looking forward to it for quite a while now because it incorporates two of my very favorite things, one being Halloween and the other being Japanese treats because this is 2022 October Halloween Japan Crate. Yes, that's right. We are back to Japan Crate after, I think, a year hiatus. So if you've been watching our unboxing videos for, oh, the past three years, you'll know that Japan Crate was my first subscription box that I started doing. For a while, I was doing monthly subscriptions to this. I was getting this every month, and then eventually I cut back to um, just a couple months at a time or for different seasons like cherry blossom season or for holidays, Halloween, and Christmas. Earlier this year, I completely stopped getting Japan Crate and switched over to Sakura Co, which is more of like the traditional kind of Japanese treats as opposed to like chocolates and candies and snacks and stuff. I really love Japan Crate's Halloween boxes, so I just had to get this year's. If you've seen the other Japan Crate videos, the Halloween boxes are usually different than all the other ones you get. Sometimes they're purple with spooky stuff on them. I think last year it was black with like tombstones and on the inside was like a jack-o'-lantern face you could carve. This year's theme is yokai, um, and yokai are Japanese folklore spirits like ghosts and goblins and demons and stuff which is really really neat on the back they have a little description about what yokai are so it says what are yokai did you know that japan has its own spooky supernatural folklore that dates back to ancient times yokai are japanese monsters and spirits that originate from traditional stories they are most commonly depicted as mischievous monsters with some human and animalistic features correlation can be made between the western idea of trick-or-treat on halloween many japanese yokai are known to play tricks and others are known to frighten people. Maybe this year you'll include yokai in your yearly tradition, which I think sounds like a lovely idea. So on the front you have all these different yokai. There's some like the kappa, which is a turtle type monster that's pretty familiar. And there's also the tengu, which is like a long-nosed goblin that you see a lot in Japanese art and stories. But interesting to know that in Japanese folklore all foxes are yokai because they believe that foxes are shapeshifters and they like to trick people or that they can help people. They believe that foxes have magic that protects you from evil spirits or harm. And uh, especially popular are the nine-tailed foxes, the QB, which are said to be wise teachers or uh, protective spirits. As a fan of kitsune or foxes in Japanese, I really appreciate the yokai theme. I think last year, or maybe the year before for Japan Crate's Halloween Crate, they had a trick-or-treat theme where in each box you either got a trick, which is like some horrible stupid candy or something, where I think we got creamed corn one year, or you could get a treat which is like either some mega treat or some sort of really expensive fancy gift or something. So I think they're doing that again this year too. So without further ado, let's open up my first Japan crate in over a year. It says usually the slogan, experience Japan through candy, and it says now crossed out, experience Halloween through yokai. So they're really going all in on this theme here. Woo here we go. Oh, and they're speaking of the kitsune, the foxes, right in there it says trick or treat and they have two little foxes on each side there, the kitsune, <laughs> and then all kinds of other yokai. Very cool, very colorful. I like the uh, red, or the orange and purple. With this, we have a trick or treat giveaway. It says, here's your treat, uh, discount code at sugoimart.com, which is the website where they sell individual Japanese snacks that you can get, which we're fans of um, for getting some of our favorites. I think last time I got a trick one where I got one penny off of my order. I guess put in the code and you figure it out online what you get. But you can either get weird items, mystery gift cards, bugs, creatures, or questions stickers as tricks or treats, mystery gift cards, plushies, cool Japanese appliances, giant candy, giant snack set, or dollars. So I guess the trick or treat isn't actually in the box. You have to go online to get the code at Smart. Here, as with most of these subscription boxes, you have a pamphlet that describes everything that's in the box. Uh, we'll take a look at that later, but right now we will just dig right in. First off, we have some aerial snacks. Now we've got these chip th Oh geez, that's great. <laughs> anyway, um, we got some of these. I think it might've actually actually been in a Halloween or October box a few years ago where these were cheddar flavored and these were really, really good. These look like they're an onion flavor. I mean, actually Lay's has started making a similar type of chip to these now that you can find. I forget what they're called, but they are very similar to these. Not quite as good, but let's open these up and try them because it's been so long. <laughs> it feels like forever. Oh yeah, definitely a very oniony smell. Mm. <laughs> as you can see, just like a thin layered airy chip. Very light flavor too, not overpowering, but 
Google's. Yeah, they're kind of like Google's. This is a Chitsutori Choco, which I don't know what that means, but it looks like a little biscuit with maybe a chocolate center. There's a little screaming teddy bear character on it, um, which is kind of silly. If you've seen our Japan Crate videos in the past, my big thing was not opening stuff unless it was resealable because I didn't like making messes, but since it's been so long, we're just gonna try all this stuff out. And it's Halloween. Halloween's all about snacks and candies. It's a tray of these little tiny biscuits, mini cookies, or like cookie crisp or something. Mm. Chocolate filled little cookies. They're pretty good. All right, I'm gonna have to do that next so we can get out of the box. All of the rest of it too, just mm. Yeah, this is gross. Dokiri Hora, and it's horror tattoo and sticker gum. So these are horror themed tattoos. You got eyeball, you got puncture wounds, you got spiders coming out of a scar. It's really just gross, horrible looking stuff. Ruth, I'm sure you'll be a fan of putting these on and out. There's randomly, it looks like a golf ball wound, which must be very common in Japan or something. <laughs> there, that's your Halloween aspect of this box. Um, oh, they're luxurious golf courses <laughs> in Japan. So that is definitely very interesting. I don't think we've ever gotten temporary tattoos in these before. Um, and then a uh, ramen flavored gum. Yeah, fantastic. Because you'll definitely want to be eating as you apply these stickers. So that's fun. ABC cookie. It's a coffee flavored little like biscuit cookie, it looks like. Again, we'll open these up and try them. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if they're all different letters of the alphabet because it's uh, ABC. W. <laughs> and I got a V. <laughs> Mmm. Mm, they're really good. I bet they'd be good dunked in coffee too. They're like a rich, darker yeah. chocolate. Yeah, they're really good. They seem like fancy like treats. If you're in a Japanese business meeting, you get these. It's all like the high hard execs in their suits and everything. Oh no. <laughs> it, it initially looked scary, but the more I looked at it, I don't think it actually is scary. Uh, Morinaga Ramune, so it's like a soda candy, and it looks like it's just cola flavored. I thought it was like sour or spicy or something at first. Are these the ones that really explode in your mouth though? I don't think so. Oh, okay, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> and this is resealable, which is nice. They're like little uh, tablets or pills or something. They're like big smarties. Yeah. Ooh, they smell like cola. Because again, have you seen our... Ooh, wow. Intense, <laughs> intense like fizzy. They're definitely like fizzy. Japan has some st standard flavors in their candies. One of them is ramune or like a lemonade kind of soda flavor. If you've ever seen like ramune in the glass bottles, that's what that is. Cola, which this is, and then grape, which we absolutely love. I have some high hopes based on what's <laughs> in this box. But yes, uh, cola is a standard flavor, but I'll crunch this so I can continue on. I think we've gotten this in one of the crates in days of yore. Fruits Monster, it's like a candy strip. You can get stuff similar to these in uh, stores around here, but it's just like a gummy sour. Yeah, it says a rainbow at the bottom there. It's like rainbow. Yeah, rainbow fruits monster. So these I think I will leave in the package. Oh, we have God. had these and uh, we don't really need to open these right now, but definitely a good treat for later. Wait, when did we get those? I think it was a long time ago. They're like a sour fruit strip candy. I don't know. All right, in no, that case we're opening. No, 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 no. We're gonna try it. Wah! Ah! Come in a tray with many of these things. It's like a very colorful bacon strip, but. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Some sort of butter. Uh, it's Koala's March candy, which is a cookie biscuit with some sort of filling. It's usually chocolate. This one looks like it's either white chocolate or some sort of butter on the package, which is interesting. We'll open it up. We'll find out. Okay, okay so those candy strips, the aftertaste tastes really weird. <laughs> it tastes like soap or fragrance. You try it first. Okay. It so is. here's, um, they all have little pictures of koalas on them. They're cute little biscuits. They smell really good. It is weird. It's like a buttery caramel or toffee or like butter pecan. Definitely not something I'd eat a lot of because I'm not a huge fan of butter in general, but <laughs> these are sweet enough to pass the test. So they are good. All right, these. Woohoo! It's got grape in it. What, <laughs> what, what more can you read? Rory. Oh, roll candy. So it's like a candy roll, but it's grape flavored. So it's like, it's basically Japanese fruit by the foot. But the important part of this is it's grape flavored and we love Japanese grape flavored candy. So we'll try just a little bit of this, but as you can see, it looks exactly like a fruit roll up. Peel a little bit of that off. Just that. There's your piece. Oh, okay, good. That was putting it. See if it passes the test. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Japanese grape flavored candy, but it just tastes different than like what you're used to in America. And it's just so much better. It looks like a chocolate biscuit, star shaped. It's got a little cute star character on it. This I think I will leave close because we've had similar stuff to this and these make a heck of a mess. This is interesting. Ho Riki, which is like, it's a potato type stick, like a bread stick almost. Bacon and potatoes or potatoes all gratin or something. You got something similar to that though. And you said like yam or sweet potato. No, yeah, sweet we got potato. sweet potato ones 
ones that were purple. Got like a smoked Gouda one that was really good. They actually taste really good. Oh yeah. I don't like these. It's not like standard pizza or cheese or something. And it's not strong. Yeah. Potatoes and bacon. Only in Japan would you get potatoes and bacon flavored like breadstick. Oh, Here we have something very scary. We've had this brand before. It's got the crying puckered up face that, I don't know, does it indicate sour? It might indicate sour. No, um, why would it? There's a little caution sign on here. I think for our health and safety's sake and to enjoy the rest of this box, we'll leave this closed for now. <laughs> After the show, we'll come back and try it. Because <laughs> yes. I'm sure people are curious about it. Speaking of curious, these look pretty good. Gato Premium Chocolate, a nice chocolate biscuit. It looks like it's filled with like a more rich chocolate center. Oh, tastes like Fig Newtons. A little bit. <laughs> Got that consistency. Cola gum. So it's just a standard pack of cola bubble gum, which is kind of silly, but almost every Japan crate, you get some kind of gum. Uh, sometimes it's got like a video game character that we've gotten a lot of Super Mario ones, uh, Pokemon ones, just like a little square of gum. This is actually a bigger piece of gum, man. We're in the mood for a cola, but don't want to drink any, just choose some gum. DIY kit. Every uh, Japan premium crate comes with a DIY kit to make your own candy, because that's a big thing in Japan. They like these DIY candy kits. And this looks like jewels or something, which is kind of cool. Basically, you mix powder and water into a tray and you come up with these. I wonder if they're hard candies or if they're jelly. Yeah, just something fun to do if you want to have an interactive candy experience. These are kind of fun. We've gotten these in the Halloween boxes before, but it's zombie gum and it changes your tongue color. And this one looks like blue. Sometimes we've gotten ones that were black, red, purple. Blue is always a fun tongue color. Halloween staple in Japan crate. I really don't know what this is. It's not <laughs> Japanese. <laughs> it's Russian or German or something. Masure mono kan kuki. So it's some sort of cookie, but it's got this really silly looking guy here who looks like he could be a nutcracker or even... Who the heck was the guy from Beauty and the Beast that was a clock? A Cogsworth? <laughs> Cogsworth. He looks like Cogsworth in his human form. Anyway, <laughs> we'll open it because we got so few things left in here. We might as well give it a try. Ooh, Ooh. pretty. Fancy looking cookie right there. Spiral shape on it. Ooh. Yeah. Reminds me of the Italian cookies. It's all the brownies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Or blondies. Both, actually. I don't know if I'll be able to break this, so maybe just take a bite. Okay, I'll take a bite. <laughs> oh, and it's filled. Uh-oh. It's chocolate filled. Look at that. Now that I wish came in a multi-pack. All right, we're getting down to the wire here. I have no idea what this is. Doesn't look good. No. <laughs> it looks like cheese. <laughs> actually, oh no. I actually know what this is now, just looking at it. Most of the Japan premium crates, they come with a drink. It's usually like a coffee in a can, a soda or something. A couple years ago, we got corn soup in a can, which is really freaking weird, and I still have it in my basement. <laughs> Honestly. We are continuing the soup in a can theme, apparently, oh. with kabocha soup, or Japanese pumpkin soup. Now, this is interesting, because I actually really like pumpkin soup. This I might actually try, but just the idea of soup in a can like this, like, a, not, hear, hear me out here. Campbell's soup comes in a can, which is fine. This comes in a bottle that you're supposed to drink it out of. So they, like, drink their soup, and I just, I don't know, for some reason that seems weird to me. I almost guarantee that I will at least try this because I do like pumpkin soup. I do like the novelty of it. I bet this would be good heated up somehow. I don't know how I would heat it up in this particular can. Maybe the pamphlet will explain how. Either way, this is very thematically appropriate. Definitely more appropriate than corn chowder in a can for Halloween. And we are down to our last item already. <laughs> Honestly, this one's a weird one. Um, so almost every... You're saying this is a weird one? <laughs> I'll explain why I think this is a weird one, but yes. Um, Almost every Japan crate comes with a bonus, or if you get the premium crate, because there are different tiers you can get, and each one costs more but comes with more stuff. And the premium crate, which I get, has all the stuff plus a bonus item, and that's usually a bag of Kit Kats, because Japan is famous for their wacky and weird Kit Kat flavors. <laughs> and we've gotten some really crazy Kit Kat flavors in the past. Now, the Halloween crates usually come with an apple pie flavored one, like a purple chocolate. It's supposed to be like ghosts changed the chocolate color to trick you. But this your Kit Kats seem to have absolutely nothing to do with Halloween because they are mint Kit Kats. I understand why you thought that was weird. Okay. Yeah. So just like completely out of the blue, we have mint Kit Kats, which <laughs> he's got a cute little polar bear on it. The polar bear. Kit Kat in the United States, they came out with a pumpkin pie Kit Kat flavor, which is really good and it's thematically appropriate. Mint just seems an odd choice. But here's the thing, we've never gotten mint Kit Kats, like ever. And I don't think I've ever even had them when they have like the mint ones um, over here. So we'll try it because it's a brand new Kit Kat flavor and it's not something completely deranged. Because yeah, the Kit Kats have been hit or miss, especially uh, matcha flavored ones. These are nice, they have an actual milk chocolate outside. Uh, a lot of the ones have been white chocolate or something. Very light mint flavor. It makes me think of mint hot chocolate. This makes me think more of Christmas than, than Halloween, um, which 
I don't hate, but by themselves, these are really good Kit Kats. They just seem weird to have in a Halloween themed box. I feel like we'll actually eat all of these, as opposed to some of the other weird flavors, like the, is it the salted plum ones? Or salted leech, salt lychee. That was the worst Kit Kat flavor ever, and I'm glad we didn't get any more of those. I think we just end up throwing those out. But then again, there's the strawberry champagne ones, which are still by far the best. I'd say this is third or fourth for me. Yeah, because then the regular strawberry ones were really good. The hazelnut kind of went down. Yeah. One. Oh, the chestnut. Chestnut, yeah, that's what it was. Those were no, we got hazelnut too, didn't we? Or was it just chestnut? I think it was just chestnut. There you have it. The October 2022 Halloween Yokai Trick or Treat themed Japan Premium Crate. Overall, not a lot of Halloween themed stuff. I feel like previous boxes have had more Halloween, like at least the packaging had Halloween stuff on it. One thing with Halloween are the tattoos. Yeah, there really was. I mean, unless you count this oh. startled looking bear, but I don't even know if that really counts. Or this creepy guy. Yeah, I think realistically it was just the tattoos that were Halloween themed. I do wish it was more thematic, but I can't complain too much because it's been so long since I've had Japan Crate and I'm just excited to actually try all these treats again. I don't know why I put everything back in because I'm going to talk about what they all are. What's in this month's crate? October's crate is a spook fest, a very yokai Halloween. Japanese yokai have held the title of creepy supernatural spirits that go bump in the night for centuries. However, this Halloween, our fearsome friends are here to deliver the season's sweetest treats, but beware, yokai are known to pull some sour tricks. Uh, so now, hopefully they'll explain why they decide to include all these snacks, as well as what they actually are. Koala's March. No tricks are happening here, just a salty sweet treat of savory butter and sugary white chocolate. So, yeah, it's butter and white chocolate. Self-explanatory, and that's exactly what it tastes like. These, which were actually very good, something that we've never gotten in Japan Crate before. ABC Cocoa Cookies. Rich Cocoa Cookies cookies filled with luxurious flavor and engraved in letters in old ornate, ornate font. Have them as a snack with a cauldron of milk for a seriously spooky vibe. So I guess they aren't coffee at all. It's just cocoa, like hot chocolate. They look like coffee beans, but they're uh, cocoa beans. So this is trending a little more towards uh, the colder <laughs> weather. Uh, Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you are blessed. Zombie chewing gum. Or zombie. <laughs> what kind of gum do zombies chew? Find out and it'll turn your entire mouth dark. I should eat this before the <laughs> Uh, yes, great flavored gum that turns your tongue dark blue for your job interviews, for your first dates, for whatever, a special night out in the town. School um, pictures. School pictures, this is the gum that you want in your pocket and in your mouth. The aerial puffs. Delicately layered crunchy corn puffs with a mellow sour cream and rich onion flavor. Make the perfect snack for Halloween movie night and play some popcorn. Take it to the movies. <laughs> Never guess what we're gonna see tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you know, it's not like it's Halloween or anything. It's ending soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard that too. <laughs> Petite chocolate cookie. Hurry up and enjoy these soft mini cookies before they get snatched up by a kappa yokai and taken to an enchanted pond as a late night snack. I guess we do have to just eat these all right away before the uh, yokai take them from us, but these were very good, so I can understand. Grape roll candy. Take your taste buds on a grape flavored expedition. <laughs> That's a phrase you always want to hear in Japan Great. <laughs> to find out the length of this candy roll. Grapefruit roll up, but it is delicious because it's Japanese grape. Rainbow fruit monster. Enjoy a monster moment with this chewy rainbow flavored candy that gives you both a sour shock and a sweet fruity surprise. <laughs> I love the actual name of this biscuit, which was so delicious. King's Forgotten Thing. <laughs> <laughs> the blend of butter and milk chocolate in this cookie is so irresistible that the Rokurokubi long neck yokai might just float by at night and take a few bites. Uh, this was very delicious. It's a shame that the king forgot about it because it is so good. Worst thing. Worst thing. <laughs> And yeah, Rokurokubi, they're very creepy. Look them up. Cola chewing gum. Whoa! Uh, sink your fangs into this old school Japanese cola flavored chewing gum. And it'll stay juicy and full of flavor from dusk till dawn. It does look very old fashioned, so like. <laughs> it does look really nice old, so don't 60s. eat it. Yeah, it's probably actually from the 60s. Sour plum bar of gum. I just love the names <laughs> of these things. Sour plum bar of gum. <laughs> Oh no! This gum has been placed into this month's crate by some tricky yokai. Experience an extreme sourness with a unique taste of salty Japanese plum. I think I should try it. <laughs> well, we did finish all of this. We did. So. We actually tried everything. I just ate a piece of the sour cream and onion chip, so I'm sure this will taste even better. But yeah, as you can see, it's just like oh, a. Just one? Oh. Yeah, there's two. Two pieces oh. of this, like, gum stick. Oh wow. Yep. It smells like plum. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Why? I'm so dumb. Does it taste good though? It tastes like plum, but it is so sour. It's like stupid sour. Tiny, Why tiny. am I still chewing this? Oh no. And I love me my sour candy, but man. <laughs> oh. oh. 
That's like a critical hit to the taste buds right there. I'm like drooling because it's so sour. I think this has taken the lead for most sour thing we've ever gotten in a Japan crate. That is ridiculous. But, but the test is you have to eat the whole thing. <laughs> You dare me to eat the whole thing? I do not. I don't want you to suffer like that. My peach was tiny, and yeah, it was sour, but then I got to the plum flavor eventually. Yeah, the plum flavor is very good. It's a very delicate, very savory and sweet plum flavor. The sourness, man, yeah, is so much. So that's how long yeah. a stick is, and there was two of them in there. That's all right. If you want to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Well, I just think people like to see the reaction if you eat the whole thing. Yeah. But you're, how, I wonder what it would taste like, or be like, to do both of them. I think you'd probably die. You turn it into a yokai. I'm glad that we tried that so we could have that experience and share it with the world, but man. I'm so tempted. Well, I, I probably will die. <laughs> well, you have some leftovers, yeah. so if you want. All right. I'm so scared. It's hard to... <laughs> Normally, I'm the one that does these stupid things. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Once you get over over the hump, it's smooth sailing, but man, for a while. To be honest, those lemon things were worse. Really? In my opinion. They were pretty bad, but maybe it's because I haven't had something like this in a while. Those had a fizz to them as well. Yeah, they did. So that hurt even more. <laughs> but this is very close. Well, you certainly tricked us with that treat. That was something else. <laughs> I was holding my breath. <laughs> Pung still feels like it got scalded. <laughs> yeah, the plump flavor surprisingly is pretty good. It is. I'll have to have my dad try that. <laughs> Not tell him what it is, because that's part of the fun too. <laughs> well, moving on. Shimmy Choco corn stick. Even better than a magic wand. This snack is oozing with creamy chocolate flavor that mysteriously melts in the mouth with each bewitching bite. Just like a corn puff chocolate snack. They're doing a good job of describing these in a very Halloween way in this pamphlet. I appreciate that, Japan Crate. You're, you're really doing your best. So yes, a chocolate magic wand. The Gâteau Chocolat. Someone must have put a spell on these Gâteau chocolate cookies. I put a spell on you! Because they magically get more delicious with each bite. Just let you know that the sour is lingering, so it's not like a one done and deal. Intense part is a one and done deal. Yeah. This part is just lingering and it's kind of making it worse. <laughs> <laughs> Please continue. Yes, the horror tattoos and gum. These Japanese horror tattoos will give you a few Halloween costume options. Chew on the included soda flavored gum while you test out your new look. I should wear one of these to work someday, see if anybody notices. <laughs> and again, the only actually Halloween themed product in this entire box. Poriki pretzel sticks. Uh, try one of the most popular snack varieties among all the ghosts and ghouls in Japan. These pretzel stick snacks in the flavor German potato. It's kind of like German potato salad where that has the bacon in it. So it is potato and bacon, but it's German potato because potatoes and bacon. And yes, they are very, very good. I guess they're Oktoberfest themed. We'll, we'll go with that. Even though Oktoberfest is over, it's still October, so it's an Oktoberfest. Just have one of these while you're eating that gum. See what happens. <laughs> Kabucha potage. You open that, I'm going to throw them. <laughs> Enjoy a pumpkin potage. 12 kinds of autumn vegetables. That's a lot packed in this little can. This soup is the perfect companion for a day out ghost hunting. And it does have a little asterisk that says this can be heated in a separate container. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to just drink a bottle of cold pumpkin soup, which sounds weird, but it's very much like Legend of Zelda if you've ever played <laughs> Skyward Sword and you go to the Lumpy Pumpkin, you get a bottle of pumpkin soup that you can drink. They do list the bonus item before the last item, and this is the Japanese mint flavored mini Kit Kat's entire bag. Are you interested in trying a refreshing flavor to uplift your spirit? The Kit Kat Japan exclusive mint flavor has you covered. Indulge in 11 mini milk chocolate bars with delicate aftertaste of fresh mint. Freeze a few bars. I didn't realize that was bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze a few bars and add them to ice cream for an even cooler way to enjoy it. I like that they have alternate ways to enjoy Kit Kats. Um, freezing them, great idea. We had some that you put in a toaster oven. They were the cheesecake ones, which are kind of weird. Lastly, we have colorful gummy experiment. So I forgot to point out on the top, there's all these little beakers that have pHs and stuff there. So I wonder if you're supposed to mix and match all these different colors, but... It says, enhance your mad scientist persona this Halloween and get things brewing in the gummy lab. So I guess they are gummy and not hard candy. It tells you how to make them. Pour water into the mixing tray, pour liquid, blah, blah, blah. Mix with a spoon until the gummies form and voila. So there you have it. After a year away, uh, Japan Crate, once again, uh, lots of yummy treats. We got our spooky yokai theme. If you are interested in subscribing to Japan Crate, if you like Japanese snacks, Japanese culture, um, this is definitely a cool entry crate to get into, especially 
where it's got sort of like the more convenience store type snacks you might get. Chocolates, chips, cookies, candy, really cool stuff. And uh, a lot of the themes in these are really cool too. Again, the yokai theme. Definitely check out some yokai lore online. But yeah, all that will be in the description below. The different um, subscription tiers and costs you can get as well as the other affiliated boxes. Uh, again, Umai Crate is one that I've done before where you get you know, all kinds of Japanese noodles that were delicious. If you're interested, be sure to check out our other unboxing videos, whether they're My Japan Crate or Sakura Co or Rus uh, old quirky crate or Mindful Souls or clothing unboxings or any of our other wacky and weird videos that do not include boxes. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Can you speak after all that gone? I guess I would we'll be boxing video. Yes. <laughs> like actual boxes. boxes each other. <laughs> Happy Halloween and trick or treat from us here at Wacky and Weird. And we hope you have a wonderful, spooky rest of your day, year, October, Halloween. And we will see you next time. <laughs> If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and describe and just and describe it in the description and subscribe too. Yes. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and describe it. You have to describe, describe it. I don't have to do it. You do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. We're hiring people to describe our videos. You'll get paid in sour gum. You pay us so yes. you can. <laughs> So you can describe. <laughs> Make you do describe. <laughs>